Okay, this is John with Fix a Fence, LLC, Portland, Oregon, 503 935 2331. Out here working in the rain. I got all the posts set right now on this uh, little slab of cement. And uh, anyway, they're done in 6x6 uh, six six plates, anchor bolts. I'll have to clean that mess up, but uh, I think the rain will do a good job today at cleaning that up. But anyway, I just wanted to come to you and let you know that uh, coming to you from my home office of my truck out here in Portland, Oregon, Fix a Fence, 503-935-2331. Okay, John at Fix a Fence, 503-935-2331. I just wanted to let you know that I got the fittings on here. And uh, in order to put these uh, fittings on correctly, you want one band down with the rail end up. Okay, and the other band on the upside with it going down. Okay, you see that? So that way, when it's up and down, it'll make one even rail. Okay, so anyway, and then you got the same thing here and here and here. Okay, and then the bottom thing is for the tension wire to keep the dogs in. So I'm moving forward and I'm okay. going to fix the fence 503 935 2331. After you have the uh, the pipe measured. Uh, you will, these are the kind of tools you'll need to get it cut with uh, manually. If not, if you have a sawzall or a carbide bit, that do just fine too. But anyway, I use the pipe cutter and pipe wrench for these little simple jobs like this because uh, that way I don't have to use anybody's electricity or anything like that. But anyway, fix a fence 503-935-2331. Getting okay. the job done. Once I got the rail in, you, you can tell it's straight. We got the bands going in the correct direction. I'm about ready to stretch the tension wire. Okay, now since it's a simple job, I really don't need anything more than what's called a little T-bar here. Okay, and this T-bar here, what it does is you're going to want to twist it uh, against or away from in order to tighten the tension wire. Okay, now another good thing to do is to make sure your tension wire is on the outside of the posts okay where you're going to put your chain link on otherwise it's going to be on the inside and when you go to when you go to hog ring it it's going to be uh, uh cattywampus anyway uh cattywampus anyway make sure it's on the outside i'm going to go ahead and stretch this up i'll be racked.